Hey guys, it's Sam from the Gamer Section, and today we're going to be taking a look at Cookie Cutter, a 2D hand-drawn Metroidvania that is being developed by Subcult Joint, it's their first game, and being published by Rogue Games. In this 2D hand-drawn side-scrolling Metroidvania, you play an android who is out for a quest for revenge after her creator and lover is kidnapped. My name is Shinji. In this melee-focused brawler, you will attack other robotic denizens using a variety of tools and upgrades. You'll start the early part of the game using Cherry's modified robotic arm, but her basic attack is actually kind of weak. The bread and butter of this highly addictive and surprisingly layered combat is the more powerful Y attack, which is assigned to new weapons that you get as you unlock them throughout your journey. The game also has a really flashy and very effective parry system, which you can use to insta-kill most enemies. The level design of this classic 2D side-scrolling action game reminded me of a Mega Man game in all the best ways. Travel from left to right, drop down platforms, and clear rooms of enemies before you can move on. Traveling off the beaten path will reveal hidden rooms and sections where you can find gears and other robotic parts to upgrade Cherry. These include combat modifiers like extra HP or a damage boost to a certain attack. Defeating an enemy with a takedown either by, by pulling off a successful parry or dwindling them down to their last bit of health will always net you more energy than a basic attack. The difficulty is fair for a Metroidvania. It's not bone crushing. Wildly creative boss encounters are definitely a highlight. You won't be as dependent on the parrying system in this game as you would be in a title like Sekiro or Lies of P. While bosses can be taken down fa fairly easily by using the parry system, you can still accomplish the same with a creative use of air dashing, dodge rolling, and stick and move tactics. Cherry will also come across many colorful characters in, in her journey. Many, many of them will create errands for you in the form of side quests. While these are optional, they are also the path to some of the game's more powerful weapons, like a lightning-infused guitar called the Stratoblaster or her signature chainsaw, the Educator. Uh, Cookie Cutter is a cool and, and stylish Metroidvania with addictive and easy-to-pick-up combat. It has some genuinely funny and heartwarming writing. It's a really solid effort for Subcult Joint's first game under publisher Rogue Games. The map is is a bit obscure at times, but it never d deters you from wanting to push forward. It's more like it gives you a general direction to travel in without actually revealing what path you're supposed to take. I'm giving Cookie Cutter a 5 out of 5 on the Gamer Section scale.